What's up everybody, it's David with Rough Swag. Uh, been away for a little bit, been getting a, getting my old house ready to sell, buying a new house, so I haven't done a lot of videos lately, but I'm gonna start back up again now that that is over. So today we're gonna talk about uh, the touchpad and getting him to pivot on the touchpad. Like I said in, my la in one of my last videos, I've done a little bit with him, uh, but I'm gonna kind of go over how I teach it um, and and go over, go over that stuff. So basically, I wanna get him to go onto it. That's also something I didn't cover. So I'm gonna start with that, getting him to just go onto it. Um, everything that I do is based on him driving the food out of my hand. So if I don't have this right here, if I don't have this, I'm not gonna start him pivoting for sure. And I might not even be able to start getting him to work onto the object or onto the touchpad. So um, that is the first thing. If you don't have that, you have to go back to that step of engagement, which I talked about in some of my other videos on, on our Instagram TV and everything. So you have to have this. He has to be able to try to dig that food out of your hand. Now, when I hold the food, I hold it so that he can't take it out of my hand. So I put it between my two, uh, my two fingers there and then I push my thumb on it. So when he's trying to take it, he can sit there and try and try and try and try, but he can't take it out of my hand. It also helps like dogs, dogs like him that have a lot of food drive. If I just go and put it like this, at some point he's gonna bite at it and he's still young, so he's not, maybe won't do it yet. But as he gets a little bit older, if I put my, the food in my hand like this, he's just gonna snatch at it. One day it's actually gonna hurt me. So, uh, so I put it in my fingers right there and I block it so that he can't take it. It also uh, builds up frustration so he tries to get it out more and more. And I can build that up the longer, so in the beginning, I'm only gonna ask for this, yes. And then as he gets better and better at it, I'm gonna ask for longer and longer uh, duration of him trying to drag it out of my hand. So if I can, I can sit here and hold, hold this, and he'll sit there and try right now for, for a decent amount of time because I, I rewarded it incrementally, and he'll just sit there and try and try and try and try and try because I reward that. Yes, good. So uh, we're gonna go right now getting him to lure onto it. So I'm gonna put him aiming towards it, and I'm gonna put my hand just like this. My hand is straight up and down. Now if you look at the angle of my hand, my hand isn't like this, my hand isn't like this. My hand is almost basically straight up and down so he can drive it out of my hand and I just walk towards it. Once I get close, some dogs will kind of walk around it a little bit depending on how tall it is. Yes. Um, but the, the main thing is trying to get them to go straight onto it. If they walk around it a little bit, just keep pulling towards them, uh, towards the touch pad until they're on. Now, once he's on, I'm gonna do that just one more time here, yes. So again, I'm gonna put it straight in front of his face. I'm gonna walk him straight onto it. And as soon as he's on, I'm gonna just say good or yes, whichever. Yes means you can get off and access the reward. I don't really care what you do. Okay or good means you did what I wanted and continue doing it. So here I would normally use yes. So when he hops, when he gets on, I would say yes. And then if he gets off, I don't really care. I'm not asking him to continue doing it with my good duration marker. 